Hello, my friends. So I just got in another really amazing shipment from Jackson's as well as a couple of other goodies along the way. And I thought I would do an unboxing because you guys really, really wanted me to unbox this stuff as a surprise when I receive it. So here I am. Okay. So first of all, thank you so much for the um, recent recommendation of the pH neutral PVA professional quality archival adhesive. Apparently I'm supposed to use this to bind my new sketchbooks and I'm really excited because yes, we always want to do things right. I also received some binding thread that is really, really cool and I can't wait to use that. Two other things that just arrived. I ordered these as um, part of a sample pack that I'm going to be including on my website at JacquelineJacks.com. I thought these were just adorable. They're so, so cute. They have really strong magnets. And so what I intend to do is fill them with some amazing watercolors that I truly love. So I already started putting pans in. I'm going to make a little sample and we'll put those up for sale on my website at JacquelineJacks.com. I think those are so, so cute. Another thing that just arrived are two more of these. So now I am totaling four on hand. And what I intend to do with these are, since they are special edition palettes and I am so crazy about schminky, I ordered two extra because I love them so much. And some of my watercolor students had commented to me that they can't get these. And I don't know why they can't get these, but I ordered two extra of the botanical and two extra of the seascape. And what I have intended to do before I put them up for sale on my website, and these are the limited edition tins, which I love so much, I actually adore my set, is I'm going to fill the extra six with six amazing watercolors that you really should have as part of the seascape set to finish it out. And I'm also going to include a really beautiful travel brush with the set, as well as numerous dot cards, probably with a lot of granulating color so that you can try different things. So these are going to be all kinds of really interesting packs that are customized by me with professional grade watercolor and some amazing products and gifts will be included with these sets. So like I said, I only have four. I have two Seascape, two botanical set. It will include six half pans of extra paint, plus numerous very generous dot cards of all kinds of paint for you to try that I have ordered along the way here. Similar things are going to happen with these. They are going to hold the um, 12 half pans of full color plus you're going to get multiple dot cards and extra gifts in there as well as a beautiful travel watercolor uh, brush okay um, another thing that arrived outside of jackson's is this now i thought this was a really cool thing i had heard about it and i really wanted to take a look at it it's actually something that I just wanted to see for myself and I thought it would be fun to maybe offer this on my website as part of this special package for Christmas. And what it is, is it's a pop-up watercolor dish. So it's just like for, for your water. How cute is this? And it's got little like holders for your brushes on the side. And then this is perfect for either gouache or for keeping your watercolors in. So whether or not I end up filling this with amazing gouache or not, or just selling it along with a big set of dot cards and some sketchbook information and maybe even a custom brush, I have not yet decided, but I think it's really cute if you are interested in getting one and maybe having this as one of your custom packages for, I have no idea how it works and I don't want to break it. Having this as one of your custom packages for, oh, there you go. Uh, for Christmas, then let me know because I think this is absolutely adorable and it certainly will keep everything just like that. That's awesome. How cute is that? I love travel stuff. 
Okay, so um, another thing that I got is this. I ordered these on Amazon. So for those of you trying to figure out a way to customize your palettes, if you don't have a tin that is metal and you're trying to stick the pans into something that's not metal, you can't have the magnets because the magnets won't stick to anything. But I found these great little plates on Amazon that have an adhesive on them so I can actually stick these to plastic or to wood and then I just have to put the magnet on the back of my pan and then I'll be able to stick this onto that which is really really cool and it, it yeah it does work that's pretty neat so I'm going to try that out especially in my Fraser Price brass watercolor box because the comment that you really did bring up which made a lot of sense was the magnets won't stick to the brass so that is my solution for now we'll see how that goes okay so let's clean off our desk and get to the next one now I'm opening the Jackson's parcels that came in and there's also a couple of parcels from Germany this was pretty interesting. Maybe we should do the parcels from Germany first. This was one of the things that came in from Germany and I looked everywhere high and low for this because I really wanted a smaller wood box set from Schminky. This was a birthday gift to myself for my birthday and literally it took me forever to find one because they're not selling them anymore as far as I know. So I found it in a little art store in Germany and I had them send it to me and I can't wait to open this and see what it's like. So it looks like Cad Yellow Light, Turner's Yellow, Cadmium Red Light, Matter Red Dark, Deft Blue, Ultramarine Finest, Cobalt Turquoise, Cobalt Green Dark, Transparent Ochre, Burnt Sienna, Sepia Brown, and Yellow Gold are in here. I'm so excited. This is so, so beautiful. I love the wood box sets that Schminka puts out because they are just made so well. Very cool. Okay, let's put this here. So this is the swatch card I'm assuming goes in here oh no it doesn't I guess we just swatch it Ooh, oh it does come with a brush another da Vinci brush yay the Nova synthetics so this is a much different brush than the one that came in the other schminky set let me see what the other ones were so the ones that came in the larger set were the da Vinci Cosmotop size eight and what's the other one this one the da vinci size 12. this one comes with a little green one that's a lot more precise not as big of a belly size six and it's a nova synthetics made in germany that is too cute i love it and i'll bet you of course my travel brushes fit in. That's what I was looking for. Okay, so this is just going to be my travel set. I think I can easily fit um, little half pans in here. I don't think you can put any more full pans in, but I think I can probably fit half pans in here. If not, it doesn't matter because I can easily just drop my brush in there and then, yep, I can put extra pans right there. Perfect. That's just what I was looking for. So this is mine. I'm not going to be reselling this. This is amazing. I love it. And it's taken me a long time to get just one. Unfortunately, I did try to get two so that I could put one on my website for you, but nope, not going to happen. This is cute. This comes out too. Look at that. Um, oh, so I could easily just customize this entire thing. Yeah, if I do find another one, I certainly will import it and put it on my website as a gift box with lots and lots of goodies in it because you know how I love to do that. So a swatching video is going to come up for this very, very soon. Keep your eye open for it. We're going to have a lot of fun with that for sure. And I'm going to show you how I customize it. Okay, let's take the next one. I went ahead and opened the boxes so that 
I didn't have to do it. So this is another travel brush. And I love these travel brushes. They are so terrific. So far, I have been enjoying them so much. And I tried to get a nice variety of them during this sale so that I would have uh, exactly what I needed for tutorials and everything else that I'm doing, especially for my own art. So this is the Versatile size eight. Pretty cool. I have not even, I've been waiting for this to come in because I got the Versatile size eight and a 12 so that I could compare the two. I usually love the bigger bellies because of the way I paint. Um, but I also, along the way here, got the Ultimo size six, which is interesting because you can see the Ultimos have a lot larger belly. And then of course, I have these two sets, which is the black and the green set. And then there are some additional little brushes that I got um, because I loved them and they went with the Fraser Price brass uh, watercolor box so well because they fit inside. These are the Tinturito um, Kazan and the Vallo made in Italy. They just look amazing. I have not tried them out. I'm waiting to film an unboxing for those so that we can do it together. So this is in here. Somewhere along the way I should have. Oh yeah. Okay. So I believe these are the extra travel brushes that I brought in so that I can put them in the sets that I'm going to be selling on my website. So this is an Ultimo size 10, really terrific brush. So one of these will be included in each of the sets An Ultimo size six. Yep. These are duplicates and an Ultimo, another Ultimo size six. So I got two size sixes so far and a size 10. So that's three brushes that I'm going to be including, um, in three different sets. So in other words, on my website, you'll see <clears throat> this set with an additional six uh, professional watercolor paints and the botanical set with an additional six watercolor paints as well as various stock cards and really fun um, watercolor gifts that will be very very super useful mostly just really a lot of paint is going to come in these so that you can try all kinds of colors I'm making dot cards of everything from um, white knight to schminky to super granulating schminky to sennelier um, yeah just everything I have tubes for I'm putting into some really great dot cards for Christmas so this ought to be really fun as well as uh, doing the the full pans in each of these. I'll be filling up six full pans. Oh, okay, I know what this is. So I ordered one additional black set because I really like this set. Um, it's got a bright size 12, a Perla size uh, qu one quarter, and the Versatile size 16. This is the set that I use. So I ordered an extra set so that I could um, pair some of these brushes in with some of these items. So I'm not really sure what brush I'm going to assign to what set yet, but these are what they look like. This is an amazing brush. I love the Versatile size 16 is so, so nice. It's such a large brush, literally to get it back in there. There we go. It's an awesome wash brush. This is the um, what the quarter inch Perla looks like. I did manage to get the get it clean. If you have a staining color, it will stain the white Touré, but it's great for precise, for very very precise um, painting. And this is the bright Perla size 12. Again, they stain, they do, and it, it takes a little bit to get them out. But with that being said, as far as a precise line, oof, this one. That is just like butter. It's like perfection. It's really hard to get around not liking that brush. Oh, yes. Okay. So I ordered two sets of these. I have another one coming up soon. This is the Core 
six introductory colors. I cannot wait to open this. I'm not going to swatch it out today, but we're going to do a whole video dedicated to mixing this set and making it into additional beautiful watercolors as well as customizing it. I have been dying to get my hands on one of these tins. I think that they are so interesting looking. Oh yeah, I love that. That's really cool. So Core has something very, very special going on with their paint that I need to look at and investigate. Um, supposedly they make them uh, with a very unusual ingredients that is not only highly flowy, right? It improves the flow. If you, I mean, Oxgall obviously makes things flow in the Sennelier and the uh, Schminky, but this has something else that's all their own patented. And uh, it makes the paints just completely take over the painting and the other paints. So I can't wait to try it. They, uh, they have them just kind of attached with these little cards in here. This is a Hansa Yellow Light, Pyrrole Red Light, Alizarin Crimson, Permanent Alizarin Crimson, Burnt Sienna, Ultramarine Blue, and Phalo Blue. Let's see if I can get this out here. Oh yeah, that just came right out. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to put magnets on these, obviously. Oh yeah, great. So just basic magnets are going to work. I'm going to fill up my tin in some crazy way. And I'm not only going to pour these in there, but I'm going to make some special colors. And I additionally have another set coming of, um, I think this is the chroma or is the chroma coming? This is the starter set, right? Yeah, this is the introductory set and I have a chroma set coming. So I will be able to just do a custom, really beautiful core palette that I can really play with and we can swatch and just make it go. And I'm really excited to do that video. That's going to be fun. But we'll wait for the second set to come in so that we can do them together because they're gorgeous colors. Or maybe, or maybe I'll just do this one too. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it needs two videos. Let me think about it. We'll think about how we're going to present it. This is a dot card that I got from Schminky. I think it was included with something I bought. But I wanted to try out some of these colors. Since then, they had a watercolor sale that just started. And I have ordered two sets. I think I ordered the Glacier set, which is a bunch of blues. I ordered a few um, tubes of additional colors. And I ordered the Shire set. I see Shire is here. Forest. I don't have desert. I think I have deep sea coming in. Tundra I wanted to try. Volcano is interesting. I'd love to see what that looks like granulating. And Galaxy Rosa. Yeah, so this will be interesting to see what these are like. I think they just came with the set. So we'll wait till my um, super granulating sets come in and we'll go ahead and switch the dot cards. Can I just say like their dot cards are so small. Like I was making dot cards to send out to my um, my students and my dots are huge, <laughs> like really big dots. <laughs> These are tiny. So any of you getting dot cards, by the way, they're almost dry. They've been waiting. It's summer, so it's really hard to get them to dry. And uh, But as soon as they dry, you guys are getting shipped all of your dot cards. And my last package of today is this. This is so cool. I actually imported it and had to wait two months to have this delivered. But you know I love wooden boxes and my dogs really like to come after my watercolor paint which is toxic to them because it's professional paint and they also like to eat my brushes if they can get a hold of those and run around so that I chase them. So I saw this and I looked and looked for something just like this. I almost had something made and then I gave this company a try, but they had to import it for me. So it took a little while. And what this is, is it's a box that has like a little tiny easel 
So when I want to paint like on my lap or on the couch or outside, when the dog, cause the dogs are always right with me, I can literally paint here. And then when I have to get up and leave those little rascals, I can just put everything back in and close it and leave it there. <laughs> but I also noticed how cute this would be because it does come with a leather strap. So you can, you can just carry it like a purse. How cool is that? So like if you wanted to use it, oh, plein air, I can't even imagine needing anything bigger than this. This is amazing. And it's so light. It's a beautiful, beautiful box. It's really well made. Um, I don't think it's, I mean, like, I don't think it's going to last decades, but of course I take care of my things, so I don't anticipate it breaking. I wouldn't drop it. It's definitely not something that you could drop, but it's got some neat little places to put like your brushes in here. They're like little elastic things to hold your travel brushes. So hopefully those are made well. And then it's got one here so you can put pencils. Um, and then it's got little latches here to put other things. I think it's really cute, actually. Let's see what fits in it. Perfect. Okay. Oh, yeah. What else would I possibly need? That's it. Just brushes, a couple of extras, water. We need water, right? So we could probably take, um, let me see if I have a water container here. So I have this pop water container. So I wonder if, nope, won't fit. Here, here's an idea. So I guess if I wanted to take the core, I would just put the core in and then put the put the brushes up here. I don't think I can still, oh, I can just fit it. Yeah, look at that, great. Okay, so I can do that. Another option, so I don't have everything squished together, is maybe the Fraser Price box. Because within the Fraser Price box, there's not only a ton of paint, but there's also a water container. So if I don't take that out, yeah, look at that. Perfect. And there's even room for a sponge. So I can put a watercolor sponge in there. That's pretty neat. And okay, I am set. Look at that. Do I need anything else? I absolutely don't need anything else. And I can just fit. The, um, this is a little high profile, I think, for maybe not for this side. And I can just fit the, um, like maybe some watercolor sheets in here. Oh yeah, there's enough room. That is excellent. I love it. So, oh my gosh, that's great. So this is recessed back in here. So literally, if I don't have this in here and I just keep these down here, I could fill this with watercolor sheets because it's going all the way in and this is just needs a little bit of room. So if I wanted to do the Fraser price box, I could definitely come up with a sketchbook that could fit in there. But again, um, you can always take the water out of here, put this in and either use this or something even a little bit smaller, maybe like that, that would work as well. Yep, that works too. So there's a lot of different ways that you can do this. This is pretty cool. I love this. Yeah, this is definitely gonna save my brushes and also save my dogs from getting into my paint. Plus I can do a lot of plein air painting um, with what I have ordered for my birthday. Pretty cool. This is really all you need because this will hold 12 half pans. You know what I mean? That's plenty of paint to go out with. But of course, I have all these crazy cool things from my wish list that have been delivered for my birthday. So 
And I'm going to get to organize all of these here with you on the channel, fill them with paint, paint with them, and just have a great time. This is so cool. All right, so, and that's the new box. How killer, right? All right, so all of these will be swatched coming up. Don't forget, more towards Christmas. I'm going to have these all finished, which are some really nice customized sets filled with goodies, all kinds of deals for you guys, um, including amazing travel brushes included in those sets, because why would I ever send out watercolor sets without a beautiful travel brush so that you could have a new travel brush to try? I think that's just, you know, a must. Don't you agree? Um, yeah, so coming up very soon, videos. We have super granulating colors. I have more videos to do on this amazing, um, schminky 48 wood box set i've only done two videos so far which was an open box video i actually just put in my gold kiritake set that i really love those are amazing i have tons of new brushes that i need to show you tons of new paint and more on the way guys have a great day let me know what you picked out in the sale and if you shopped and by the way i have affiliate links for all of this underneath this video please use them because that is how i am able to bring more and more goodies to the channel so that i can review them for you and keep you in the know about what's going on i appreciate you so much thank you guys for joining me for the video and i hope you enjoyed it this was fun